Hi everyone, Vacha here from Recording Studio 9 and thanks for joining me again today. And in a series of uh, videos that I've been making about Magic Music Maker Free, the Free Music Making Digital Audio Workstation or DAW, today I'm going to talk about and demonstrate the sound pools pitch, what they are and how to use them and what do numbers mean. When you open up Magic Music Maker Free or the other versions, the uh, Plus or Premium, and you go into your loops and select a sound pool library. You can see all the different instrument and loops within that sound pool library. At the moment, I've got guitar selected. And in this sound pool, chill out, we have a couple of guitars there. Let's have a listen to the first one, which means 12 string guitar. I simply clicked on it and it plays a preview. You click and then it will stop again. Now that's in C major. I'll tell you how I know that later on. At the above here we can actually see it says pitch and there are seven numbers in circles. What it means is this tune that we just heard, the 12th string guitar, is in this pitch number one. But if we click on number two, We can hear how the pitch or the tune of the guitar changes. Let's click on 3. And then 4. Six, and 7. If we click again on the number that we just clicked on, it will actually stop the preview. The pitch basically means what chord that sound pool instrument is being played. If we click one, it's one chord being strummed, five, a different chord strum, four, a different chord strum. Well, let's select the keys instrument. Let's select E Piano A. That's one. Then three and four. And we can hear how the chord actually changes. So by selecting different pitch numbers, we can create a different chord or a scale of the music in our music creation. As for example, I'm going to press the first one and I'm going to drag that into my first track there. And then I'm going to press the fifth one and I'm going to drag it and put it next to it. And then I'm going to select the fourth one. And then Maybe the sixth. Okay, so I'm just going to bring that. That yellow bar at the top is my loop. And you can enable and disable at the bottom corner here. That means the timeline will loop between those eight bars. So by clicking, I'm just going to enable it. So let's play it. Okay, so that's how you can have different chords being played by using the same sound of your sand pool instrument. Some instruments, like drums, won't have the pitch because they are set as one in a uh, universal pitch. So you cannot actually change it. But most instruments, like pads, 
are changeable. So what these numbers actually mean? Well, let's have a look at a chart that I have created to what those numbers mean. As you can see now, I've laid it out for you. Number one means the chord being played or the music and notations being played is in C major, with number two in D minor, number three E minor, number four F major, number five G major, number six A minor, and number seven is B flat major or A sharp major, whichever way you like it. I called it B flat major, just make it easier so it goes to C, D, E, F, G, A, B. So that's what those numbers mean. Most sound pulled from Magic Music Maker are in C major scale, as you can see. You can also use the same scale in A minor as well. Now here's a feature that Magic Music Maker will make it much easier to create music. If this is our progression of song, C major, G major, F major, and A minor. And if we want to add different instruments, we can certainly select different pitch. Let's, uh, let's say I'm just going to select um, some synths. Okay, I could select the one and drag it there. And then I can select G as being a Think five. But there's another way that we can actually do. I'm just going to drag this one, even though it's still selected five, I'm going to drag this one and drag it here. And going to drag another one right there. Now you would think that these two would be still G major, but let's have a listen. Did you hear that? These two did not actually play G major even though I had still selected five, which is G major scale. They actually played F major and A minor. Well, there is an option in Magic Music Maker which will allow you to automatically select the main timeline chord progression into any other instrument we add into our tracks. That's available under File, Settings, Automatic Pitch Adjustment. So this will allow you automatically select the correct pitch from the above track or the master timeline. You can also select do not adjust the pitch, so it will actually put whatever pitch you've selected in case you want to create harmonies, or you can put always ask, that way it will ask you whether you like to match the master pitch or keep it whatever you have selected from the number system. While we are talking about the topic of sound pool instrument pitch and all the different pitch and chord scales available, here's another option that you can actually have to make things easier again. This time we go into the options. And here we select optional rows. And this time I'm going to select the length. I might also select bits per minute. So now I have more information of my sand pool instrument, knowing that it's 90 bits per minute and length of four or length of two bars. This makes it easier if you are creating your song to have very similar length sand pool instruments staggered together. Sure, you can always cut and extend like here, If we don't want that final bit, let's have a listen. Well, 
But selecting the correct length of bars makes it much, much more pleasant and better arrangement of your songs. Well, that's it for now. I hope the demonstration of several features that I've just demonstrated was helpful for you. If it was, make sure you give me the thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel so that way you get up to date any new information about Magic's Music Maker free DAW that I upload on my channel. Till next time, as always, thanks for watching. Cheerio.